So I've called it philanthro feudalism, but I like this uh, <laughs> charitable industrial complex. Thank what you. do you mean by it? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, it's a, a system like so many others that have sort of, uh, I guess it's grown too big for its britches or something. <laughs> and I will say britches because it's mostly men. Um, but uh, it, it really seems like it's sort of folding in on itself and, you know, keeping itself alive as opposed to trying to put itself out of business. Uh, you know, much like the military industrial complex is certainly keeping itself alive as opposed to, you know, waging peace and figuring out how to put itself out of business. Your father's spoken up for more taxation. And tax reform. A little bit and, uh, more. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, yep. And he's made the point of yep. the unfairness of our current tax burdens. Yep. Um, but isn't that really the point? I mean, Louis Brandeis wrote at the beginning of the century, the Supreme Court justice last century, that you can either have this sort of concentration of extreme wealth or democracy. You can't have both. Right. And isn't our situation directly related to the fact that these fortunes have been amassed? Isn't the amassing really kind of the problem? Well, yeah. I mean, I think Ralph Nader said if we had more justice, there'd be less charity, right? Mm -hmm. And that's another way of saying the same thing is that if, and that's why in the op-ed I said, I'm not calling for an end to capitalism. I'm calling for humanism. Well, if you really call for humanism, you are calling for That's what I thought capitalism. when I read it. <laughs> I know. But I tried to kind of like get around that a little bit to raise the issue and say, well, what do you mean? And don't you mean that? You know, I wanted to get people talking about that spot because our system, I mean, you can't have unlimited growth. You can't have, you know, the, the concept of return on investment. A lot of these definitions have to be redefined. I mean, they have to be changed so that a return is something other than you know, whatever the percentage it might be or whatever the monetary return might be. I mean, we, we have to really look at how we're naming things and the this, this system we're in.